happiness. Oh, it's for real. I told a few people at my company I have a video of her, and now everyone's asking me to send it to them. <sighs> Doesn't mean you have to send it to me every five minutes. But it totally grants wishes. I heard the receptionist's boyfriend propose to her after watching it. Oh, really? Fascinating. Maybe I'll take another video. <sighs> Maybe I'll take a video so I can live in peace. <sighs> you don't look so good. Todd, my boss, is really annoying. As I'm sure you know. He's always telling stupid jokes. But even at work, he sticks up for my mistakes. I never asked him to do that. He's a kind man. He's so stupid, though. He doesn't even know that his wife's sleeping around with another man. What the hell are you doing that? <sighs> I'm horrible. I should just die. I steal, I ruin things, throw them away, and run away. I'm incapable of love. Did something happen? What's your mother like? What? She left when I was in high school. She met another man. Maybe we're the same then. How? We both... We just wanted to love our mothers. Huh. Let's talk about something else. Don't be so nice to me or I'll just steal your girlfriend. Get away from me. I'm gonna leave. You got a mail. of happiness. Huh. I can sort of understand why people would put their hopes in something like that. Can I tell you the rest of yesterday's story? Oh, sure. If you're up for it. I think I was at the part where the ballerina suddenly had many enemies. She started to be harassed. Eventually, her entire family was killed. What? She took her own life after that. It's the truth. It's done, he's done. That's what everyone else says. But it still won't bring her back. Have I told you about that legend? That if you survive, you'll be granted any one wish. It's just a rumor, right? It might be a ridiculous fairy tale, but right now, I feel like I've got to believe in something if I'm going to go on. If I'd never written that article, she'd still be alive. I know what my wish would be. I'd change the past, save her. I was such a fool. But that's why I'm hung up on this stupid legend. Go ahead and laugh if you like. It's not funny. Wrong. Nothing, really. What you said today about someone coming after me, it's scaring me now. Well, you should be okay. I was just guessing. Hey, Vincent, who's Catherine? Huh? What are you asking me for? That's your name, right? Weren't you acting kind of weird this afternoon? Not at all. You're Catherine, right? Stop kidding around. All right, then. I'll trust you. After all, if you were lying, there's no telling what I'd do. Huh? Bye-bye. Good night, Vincent. I love you. What was that? Everyone seems to be talking about that piano player. I hope it doesn't get too out of hand.
awful kind to Vincent. Why don't you hook up with him? I can't be with you, right? So everyone wins. Yeah, it's no use being with a man who will just become somebody else's. Uh, hey, hey, guys. <sighs> if you're gonna get hurt, then why did you bring this up? Do you have any idea how I feel when I buy my clothes? I have to save everything I make just to buy handbags and clothes that won't embarrass you when we're seen together. I studied economics and etiquette every day just so I wouldn't embarrass you at an important dinner. But it's all pointless, because no matter how much I better myself, it'll never be good enough for some people. Anna. It was inevitable that we'd break up from the beginning. <sighs> I'm sorry I never let you give me any presents. I had to do something to keep my dignity. Um, is that what you really want? <sighs> this isn't about what we want or don't want. You got a mail. been waiting for you. I was on duty early today because of the incident. The victims are all men who are younger than me. I feel so bad for those young guys. When someone like me is still alive, do you believe in an afterlife? Yeah? If there is an afterlife, that means that death isn't the end of everything. But I want there to be an end. I'm only living now because I have something I need to do. What's that? To find the criminal who shot my wife. And kill him with my own hands. My wife is dead, so he'll die. And then I'll die. That's when everything will finally disappear. Are you thinking of dying? Well, I'm certainly not good at living. Sorry, but I'm going home. I just came for a little drink before bed. You got a mail. certainly the talk of the town. I heard your deepest wish will come true if you listen to her play. Maybe I'll take a video of her so I can catch the culprit. You got a mail. This takes me back. Trust him to customize a bike without watching over him. You should spend more time tinkering with chicks, not bikes. He needs to hook up with somebody good for him. Someone besides Erica. You're so good with the little guy. How about sharing some of that love with us? Yeah, right. I wish that pianist of happiness could get rid of the pit in my stomach. Oh, Catherine, he missed. 
mention wasn't her? What's going on here? I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished the glass. A kir is an aperitif that is consumed before a meal. Kir is a popular French cocktail consisting of creme de cassis topped with white wine. A kir royale uses champagne in place of the white wine used in a traditional kir. The Kir Imperial is a modern version of the Kir Royale and uses strawberry liqueur in place of champagne. Why not show off in front of your friends and order one before your food arrives? That was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Empty? Erica, I need a drink. You want something else? It's getting pretty late. Sake. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. You got it. Here it is. Hey, Erica. Erica, out of the four of us, who would you rather marry? Well, I thought Vincent would be the guy who'd take the best care of me. Past tense? Orlando and Johnny don't look like they'd love me. Ding, ding, ding. Which means... You, I guess. You're cute and passionate. Wait, for reals? Yeah, yeah, congrats. Hey, hey, you guys jealous? No. Phew. Ren said she loved me, but it's like a brother love. my own infidelity. I don't have the right to suspect her. Whew. I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia about sake for you, as you seem to have finished your cup. Koji is the main ingredient of such Japanese staples as sake, soy sauce, miso, mirin, and rice vinegar. Just as the sakura is the national flower of Japan, and the green pheasant is its national bird. Koji is considered the national mold of Japan. Koji is so intrinsic to Japanese food culture that it is revered across the country. And that was the sake trivia for tonight. Empty? What would you like? Yeah. Beer. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. I'll bring it right over. There. The text message of happiness, huh? Well, Erica's always been into those weird superstitions. <laughs> Especially the romantic ones. Not that it's really worked out for her. Remember that time she got hurt? Dropped off the face of the planet? Huh? Huh? What happened? <laughs> I remember that. You know, people were saying she was dead, but then she just popped up out of nowhere. I never knew Erica had some trauma like that in her past. But I'll fill every hole in her heart. I'll fill every hole in her heart. Hey, I'm serious here. Don't make fun of me. Please. I think it's time to go home. You got a mail. <laughs> Shit. Can't look at this in public. I need to check this out somewhere where no one can see. My head hurts. Maybe I've been playing too much Rapunzel. Hey, I got the top score on that right now. Once I figured out the trick, I got pretty far. You guys really like that game. You don't get why it's so fun, eh, Toby boy? Hey, that's mean. After I got the hang of it, it's just so addictive. 
Now you're the kind of guy who won't give up till you beat it, huh? Well, isn't everyone like that? Yeah. You took life one step at a time until you started dating Catherine, didn't you? Uh, shut up already. You got a mail. Erica. Huh? Wait, what? Yeah, I found the one. Um, you don't say. Well, uh, don't go overboard. Sure thing. Erica. Uh, uh, it's late. Anyway, I have to set things straight tomorrow. Vincent, we're going home now. See you later. <sighs> All that alcohol is bad for your liver. <laughs> Hurry up. I've been looking forward to your trial. Did I, did I just hear something? <sighs> I wish that pianist of happiness could get rid of the pit in my stomach. This is sudden, but here is some trivia about beer, now that you've emptied your pint glass. Ale has a much longer history than lager. In fact, in medieval Europe, it was common for families to brew ale and drink it with bread. Clean water was in short supply in those days, so people drank beer instead of water. The ability to drink all day long made the Dark Ages a great time to be alive for beer lovers. And that was the beer trivia for the night. Empty? What would you like? Yeah. Uh, wine. I'll bring it right over. There. Oof. The Catherine he mentioned wasn't her? What's going on here? Oof. Ren said she loved me, but that's like a brotherly love, right? Oof. I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia about wine, now that you've emptied your glass. Did you know that swirling one's wine glass isn't just for show? It's a way to get air into the wine so it releases more aroma. It can change the taste considerably, so I suggest you give it a try. Just make sure you don't drink so much that your head starts swirling instead. And that was the trivia for tonight. Empty? You still want a drink? No, I'm cool. Hmm. What's the name of that song you're always playing? I'm actually not sure, but it's like my fingers remember the motions. It must be really important to me. I just wonder if it might be a clue as to who you are. Vincent, there's something I need to talk to you about. What's wrong? Did the stalker come back? Oh, no. Actually, the shower in my apartment's been acting up. The water keeps running cold. <laughs> oh, yeah. The place has kind of fallen apart. 
Sometimes I just bang on stuff and it works again, but... Really? Okay, I'll try that next time. I knew I could count on you, Vincent. And when it comes to choosing a partner, the way men see things can't compare to the way women view it. I hear they even distinguish by smell, too. I wonder. I thought I was a sweet-scented middle-aged man, but Eric just said I have old man smell. Like I care. Yeah, anyway. As I was going to say, the hunter in relationships is actually the female. Female moose have males fight each other to win her courtship. When I saw that documentary last night, I was on the edge of tears for the poor husband. Maybe you can't be too careless for too long. Women are hunting every day for better prey. If you take too long, you might be exchanged for the prey next to you, you know? You, Johnny, and Orlando have all made women cry. Well, maybe I have. And maybe Orlando too, but not Johnny. Not true. He said he told his girlfriend that he has no intention of marrying her. How can a man tell a woman that? It's like saying, I don't love you. If that happened to me, I'd disappear all over again. Oh, I remember that. You just up and vanished. Stop saying I vanished. I was crashing at a friend's place. I remember that you guys were all worried sick. Of course we were. We honestly thought you were dead. To be young and thoughtless can be forgiven. But if you're an adult... Stop tormenting yourself all over again. Still, you guys really need to learn how a girl's heart works. A girl is always hoping someone will come and sweep them away. Oh, come on. Ahem, sounds like somebody wants to pay their tab right now. And now, continuing our coverage of the mysterious weakening deaths. Richard Davis, age 30, has been found dead today. 30? Wow. It's even younger than I am. <sighs> That's all we currently have on this story. We'll be moving on to the news after a brief update on the weather in Area 15. We will now cover the story of the beautiful pianist with no memory. Tower. Quit wasting your time and come on over. What the? 